Howdy darling Scorpio, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading for August, alright darling? So hopefully this reading helps you out. We're going to get into three rows for you Scorpio. Your first row today, we're going to be talking about the person that is on your mind, alright? This could be romantic, platonic darling, business related, just not my business is knowing what type of relationship this is, alright? Your second row today Scorpio, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today. Could be a spiritual message for some of you guys or it could just be serving as an affirmation, confirmation, uh, Confirm, hello, confirming something for you, Scorpio. All right. And then in your third row, darling, of course, we're going to get into some predictions for you. While the future is never solid, Scorpio, if you continue down the path that you have been going on, I can make some pretty solid predictions for you. All right, darling. So remember to give this video a like and subscribe if you want to support me, darling. It's completely free and I appreciate those that do it. But starting out the energy here with this temperance card in the back of the deck, Scorpio. All right. I actually really like this a lot for you here, Scorpio, especially due to to what I'm seeing with what I see in your predictions row like this temperance energy is the best energy that like the most ideal energy that you would be wanting here all right have patience at this time Scorpio because the outcome that you're hoping for is going to happen here spirit does not tell you to have patience Scorpio if there wasn't a reason for it right because your spiritual team you have to think about it in this way it's like they're always wanting you to continue going forward Scorpio right and so and when you take that uh, idea, it's like they're not going to tell you to pause, stop going forward or stop. Uh, uh, they're not going to tell you to keep going with what it is that you've been doing if it's not going to get you some really solid results here. All right. Have patience at this time. I get like this sense, Scorpio. I hear like checks and balances. Something needs to balance out as well for some of you, Scorpios. For some of you guys, you're experiencing that blockage, whether it's financially, socially or what have you. I feel like you guys need to just create like a routine for yourself set up an environment for yourself scorpio that sets you up for success all right that's what i want to be telling you guys is set up an environment that sets you up for success um and everything else will follow is if you create the environment of having that successful business right so you start um whatever that looks like for you for some of you guys need to clean up your room have an office space a dedicated space for that scorpio all right you just need to think about this and being like prepare for company right when you think about some important person coming over to your house what would you do to set up uh an environment that's the most welcoming all right so keep that energy for whatever facet that is for you all right scorpio so let's get into your first row here darling all right let's see uh the person that's on your mind right now you have this nine of swords two of cups here as well as the seven of pentacles here all right i see you in this place here scorpio it's really interesting because the first thing i want to bring out attention to is this two of cups here i get like this sense of where there was like this initial investment that you've had when it comes to this connection here but then it's just like it's like what you put into the connection scorpio you're still in this place of being like i don't know what to really do about this i don't know how to really feel about this here it's like you want it's the sense scorpio with this person where it's like you want to have things things continue moving forward you want this person to put more effort in or even perhaps to match your energy here uh scorpio on some level but i just get like the sense of like someone's not putting in the effort that you're putting in here and so then it just leaves you in this place of being like being overtly anxious right you're in this place of just like really wondering like what this person's true intents are you're wondering for some of you scorpios you're having like this anxiety i hear about like worried about someone like leaving your life because they decide it's not like worth it or maybe that's like in the reverse uh scorpio maybe someone's having anxiety over you here all right <clears throat> Actually, I kind of even want to lean into that a little bit here, Scorpio. I see you in your head about this situation, about this person here, but I would even want to challenge you because I get like this sense of mirroring. I feel like not like this sense of like someone doesn't want to admit to themselves how much they actually care about this here. It's like everyone's trying to play it cool here. Six of Swords coming in here. Uh -uh. And then we got that death card coming in here. All right, Scorpio. So I don't feel as if you guys are talking right now. All right. Especially because this lover's energy is in the back of the deck here. Clarifying this. All right. And this was inverted here. So I don't feel like you guys are talking right now, Scorpio. Probably the reason why you're feeling anxious about this connection here. And they are as well. Like I say that pretty confidently now. I feel like they're just as anxious as you are about the connection here. But it's like waiting for someone to put their pride down here Scorpio to come back right so for many of you guys it's like maybe you had a fight with your friend or a fight with your lover darling right 
and it was like a pretty big intense fight right and you're just at this place of being like i don't know if they're gonna like you know some of you scorpios are just like is this the end like are we done with this like are, you know is this all for nothing right and the thing about it is scorpio i feel like what's going to happen between you and your person here it's like yeah there's going to be distance yeah y'all might even block each other y'all might not be talking and for a while all right i don't feel like that's necessarily a bad thing scorpio because i at the end of the day You'll know for a fact if this person's meant for you because they'll come back for you, all right? And so what I want to tell you, Scorpio, is that stop being so hard on yourself. If some of you guys, you might be a little bit critical on your own self-worth here due to how this person's handling it here handling the situation with you and i want to just let you know darlings like that i definitely feel like this because i do keep on hearing mirroring and even when i keep looking at the two of cups here i get like that sense of just like mirroring each other here i feel like the emotions are still clear there for both of y'all but they have to be the one to show to you, uh, Scorpio, that they're willing to put in the work here. I feel as if if you were to make it easier on them or if you were to chase after them or try to be the one to break the silence here, I feel like you guys would end up back into like the same patterns that caused the problems in the first place. Because I do see conflict, especially with that five of wands there in your second row. Like I do see, I can understand where the problem is, Scorpio. And so maybe this is just my bias because y'all are my fam, honey, right? All 12 zodiac signs are my friends here. Here, but I feel like you have to like make them be the ones to reach out first you might be anxious right now because you're just like man oh man like did I really mess this up what have you you know maybe they're gonna just move on and you're having that question even some of you guys you might have your phone in your hand and you're just like you have a message ready to send and you're just like do I hit the send button right now all right I don't feel like you want to hit the send I feel like you want to make them work for it, Scorpio make them earn your trust make them sh have them show to you that you are worth the effort that you know you're worth all right that's what I want to say on that Scorpio so let's continue on here, darling, in uh, what you need to hear today. Now, as I said, you have that five of wands, ten of swords here with this uh, justice energy. All right. So right off the bat here, all right, you have this 10 of swords here. And I always say, darling, right, a lot of people are afraid of this 10 of swords, uh, admittedly, uh, Scorpio. But I say, like, the 10 swords didn't happen overnight. Like, they've been here, darling, all right? Like, this has been a, an accumulation of disappointments, an accumulation, Scorpio, of pains and what have you, obstacles, right? Especially obstacles here, right, with that five of wands. Now, personally, to me, Scorpio, the five of wands is my least favorite card in the tarot deck because that is just literally the embodiment of complications people trying you just to start you know trying you just to like get a reaction out of you like it's just not a really lovely dynamic there but you know and you're probably taking this in right now scorpio you're just like all right valka like where's the good news with this like where's the optimism darling right it's with this justice energy it truly is with this justice energy here, Scorpio, and I'll tell you why. Because tens representing closures to cycles. All right, so it's already that ten of swords. I personally see the ten of swords as like you're about, you're like pretty much done with that cycle of pain or that cycle of disappointments here. Like there's no more space, right? There's not an eleven of swords. There's not a twelve of swords, Scorpio. Like what's done is done is done, which is done right and so when you think about this justice energy here scorpio things are going to be coming into balance here i feel like your uh the complications the obstacles are going to be rectifying themselves here all right but this is really just a time of where i see for many of you scorpios this has just been a time of like building character let me clean up the space a little bit y'all have just been like building a lot of character here for some of you scorpios like a fight or a misunderstanding or just like some type of obstacle was necessary i hear scorpio as well to address some problem but balance is going to be coming into your life here things are going to be balancing out i see a lot less stress for you guys i feel like for many of you scorpios you're coming into this reading with like <sighs> A lot of just social stresses here all right it's like you can't really focus in on anything else because just like with all this air sword energy here scorpio it's like even you can't even distract yourself anymore with like work or what have you here because it's just like this con like things just being so out of balance so let's start clarifying this here scorpio i'm really positive about what's going to be coming for you but just understand that justice is going to be had here all right the scales of justice are working in your favor here you just have to keep your your head above water while things are working out for you 
you have this two of pentacles coming in here with the page of pentacles coming in here really fabulous as well as the knight of pentacles darling <laughs> all right scorpio for one can we acknowledge that you're getting nothing but air and earth energy in this all right you could be dealing with an air and earth sign or earth sign but i always say when it comes to general tarot readings on youtube darling right let's not really focus in on the zodiac sign itself because it you know it's just chances are it could be anybody right chances are everyone like chances are someone in this reading's dealing with their own separate sign like so it's like y'all are dealing like let's make it irrelevant there in that sense but scorpio I point out the earth energy here because let's take out the social aspect of this here and focus in on the finances because I feel like for you Scorpio it's like after the period of just where you're dealing with all those stresses and I mean for many of you Scorpios I am going to be honest here the reason why you're needing that period of space of just silence between you and that person that you had on your mind here is I feel like they are the direct responsibility of why you haven't been able to have further abundance in your life here. All right. Because the page of pentacles, pages brings forth news. All right. Two of pentacles here, knight of pentacles. The reason why you're needing this period of where you are just not dealing with certain people, uh, Scorpio, is because you're about to be able to go on a journey. All right. With that knight of pentacles, it's the slowest moving knight. And it can represent the sense of just needing to get going. All right. Needing to just step out of your comfort zone. All right. And so you've been needing to release some of like what it is that you have been juggling here. I even feel like for some of you Scorpios, you're going to be having a couple different opportunities coming forward to you, both very new. All right, could be socially, all right, because the Page of Pentacles could talk about like someone extending out their pentacle to you, or it could be talking about like a new stream of revenue coming in, a new stream of just like a project that you could be working on. Like, it's just something new. It's not something that's familiar to you, right? Because that's this, uh, how these two cards come together here, Scorpio, with that Knight and Two of Pentacles here. It's just that sense of, um, <clears throat> I just completely lost my train of thought, Scorpio. So we'll just move on from this. Regardless of the fact, I don't remember what I was saying. I just completely blanked out there. <laughs> Scorpio, essentially here, what I want to say is that, Scorpio, you need to be able to get going on your journey and you can't be taking so much baggage with you here. And I feel like for many of you guys, the baggage that some of you guys haven't been really wanting to admit is the people that have just bring stresses. And it's just like, that doesn't mean anything bad on them. You know, they still like, they could still love you right i don't want to speak for them obviously right but they just may not be good for you scorpio uh, that's what i feel with this is like they just may not be good for you and i get like this sense of just like i don't know it's just like very controlling energy but i don't feel like it's like and in like intended on it i don't feel like i don't know it's really interesting here scorpio i want to get some uh oracle cards uh to talk about this as well when i see this uh all those pentacles as well though Scorpio I do I just get like the, I do continue seeing this sense for you of where going out on your own independence some of you guys might be wanting to like move out all right or want planning a move so you have your own space Scorpio is what I hear or just being like having more control over your own life maybe more control of your finances where it's just like you're the one uh calling the shots on that or just what have you I just feel like this sense for you Scorpio that you're going to be coming back into control like you are in control all right you're taking back that control and what have you all right number 48 equaling to three all right equaling to three for you scorpio so write down that number to look it up at a later point in time but the sky dances card surrender here surrender you don't have to try you don't have to fight as hard as you have been fighting scorpio all right you don't have to fight for as hard as you've been trying i feel like for some of you you are fighting for more than just one person right you're fighting for more than just one person and it's like it's running you dry like i feel like you're tapped dry at this point in time scorpio and i feel like it's time for you to just surrender and stop having like i always say this like friendships shouldn't be easy relationships in my opinion should be easy all right it shouldn't always be the sense of like you know being like where it's like all right what's going on this week what's the drama this week with this person it shouldn't be like that scorpio all right i know a lot of people especially some people will enable themselves into like toxic relationships because they'll just call it like a twin flame and be like oh we're just in this to grow together this like girl there's a fine line between like growing with one another and challenging one another and also just being a nuisance 
nuisance and taking advantage of you, Scorpio, all right, and your good graces here. It's time for you to be able to just start living your life to the fullest. If someone doesn't fit that lifestyle, if someone doesn't match you, girl, I can't hold this card, match you in that way, they don't deserve you. You have the Wolverine card coming in as well. It's like saying, it's like you are a lot tougher than you think you are, Scorpio, all right? So for those that are being really intimidated on this idea of being able to have that sense of independence, you re I really do see independence uh, being capable for y'all, all right? So in your predictions today, Scorpio, you have the Seven of Swords with the King of Wands, as well as the Three of Pentacles for you. What I see happening for you, Scorpio, is that the more confident that you, I see you guys building confidence for one, and it's through that building of confidence that happens really because you're having, you, it's like, you discover, you discover your confidence through, again, there's like the similarity with that Two of Pentacles as well as the Seven of Swords is like juggling, having too much on your plate. But I feel like you start feeling a lot more empowered because I feel like you're calling out like an abuser. You're calling out something toxic. You're calling out something shady going on. All right. You're calling out whatever it is. That's like, it's like you're, you know what I'm being shown Scorpio. It's like you're washing the dishes. And then this is like, there's just like one person that always keeps having dishes to keep putting into your water. And it's just like, girl, like you put 10 plates in here. Like what the heck? Wash your own dishes at that point in time. Right. By you finally taking that stand. That's what's happening for you. Scorpio It's like your put your button are being pushed because they want like spirit wants you to be in this king of wands so be confrontational all right because as i see you being more confrontational and speaking your truth here you are going to find people that are more appropriate for you scorpio again like that's why y'all need to have this reminder scorpio is like friendships should not always just be about dramas and fights and what have you all right it should not feel like a soap opera, right? And I feel like that's what feel, it feels like for some of you Scorpios. It's like it's borderline a soap opera because of just like what people, like they always just complicate things. I feel like you're always the rock in your friendships, in your relationships, Scorpio. And it's like you, you're you tired of having to be the, the strong one for everybody else because then it's just like, what about you? Who's going, who is being strong for you, Scorpio? And I know for many of you, I mean, and I mean, I have five, five placements in Scorpio. So it's like, I understand that independence and also take note, bearing fruit, number three, again, three is really following you here. All right. I understand that sense of where you don't need to have anyone be strong for you, but it's also nice, Scorpio. It's nice to have someone just acknowledge you and want to support you as well. All right. With that bearing fruit card, again, we talk about the number three coming out twice for you now, all right? When it comes to numerology, if you're curious, unless it's a master number, you combine it to one number. So if you're wondering, being like, Velka, I don't see no three in here, honey, that's what's going on here. But... I do see for you, your path is getting aligned with people that are just a lot more of your match, people who are able to work as hard as you. All right. I hear for some of you Scorpios, it's high. It's like high time for you to start surrounding yourself with more business aligned people, more motivated people that are, like want to travel, that want to do things. All right. It's, instead of always being around people trying to get them out of bed or trying to get them motivated to live their life, let alone do something exciting here. I don't know why Scorpio, I just keep on getting like this impression of where it's just like the people that you're around or the people that have access to you that consistently bring that drama to you. Like if you were just around a different crowd of people, you would be just like beyond, like in a good way, like beyond. Ooh, darling, I'm realizing I don't have my lights on. Hold up here, Scorpio. <laughs> there we go right at the end of the reading we get the lights on. <laughs> but that's what i get for you scorpio hopefully you found this reading so helpful in some type of way darling all right give this video a like and subscribe if you do be sure to check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign to get the full spectrum of what's going on in your life if you want to book a reading with me simply valka.com follow me on my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all just being simply valka i love you so much scorpio bye darling